Hi everyone, my name is Dahlia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a collective book haul. Basically these are a bunch of books that I've been accumulating probably since the spring and I mean early spring like April-ish. Um, yeah, I guess since like around Easter time and so that's it for my intro and I guess I'll just get to showing you the books. Um, so the first that I have to show you is the Game of Thrones mass paperback box set as so. Um, the first book is right here and I guess it's not really called a Game of Thrones. I guess it's called A Song of Ice and Fire and it's by George R.R. R. Martin and my awesome grandma actually ordered these online for me because I don't know, I've been kind of curious to get into Game of Thrones for a long while, but also hesitant just because all of these books are massive and the series is ongoing and so I was kind of hesitant because let's say I did love it and I got to this like fifth book and I would have to wait for the next ones and I know they take a long time to write, but I ended up asking for these anyways and so... I got them during like my spring break from college, but I didn't start reading them until like this month. And as you can see, I'm pretty much almost done with the first book, and I have to say I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I'm kind of trying to take my time with this. Like I've been reading this all month, um, but yeah, slowly devouring it. And I hope that I don't read these fast because I'm probably not going to want to wait a long time for the next books to come out. Um, that will be really sad. And I know there's a show based off it, and I've actually started watching that too, and I do enjoy it. And I'll probably give more thoughts about the first book, um, if I do like a wrap-up or maybe like a book talk about it. Um, so you can see what I'm thinking of the series so far in more detail. Then, the next books that I have to show you or I guess the next book, is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, what is it? The Illustrated Edition. And I actually don't own the first one. I think the third one just came out not too long ago. But yeah, I only own the second one. And my mom came home with this one day. And she was really excited to buy it. And I was really excited that she bought it. And so, yeah, I mean, these have been around for a little while. Basically, it's the Harry Potter books in this huge, beautiful, illustrated form. It has beautiful images and everything and so um, I haven't actually even peeked through this that much but I'm really excited to read it. Then the next books that I have to show you are from when my family went to Mexico for spring break to visit my family that lives down there and my mom brought me home two books for me because I stayed here for school, um, for college. And she got Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix in Spanish because I'm trying to collect the whole Harry Potter series in Spanish. So now I have one, two, four, and five. No, one, two, five, and six. So I'm still missing a few of the books, but I'm just gathering them little by little. And then I also have The Hobbit, or El Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, also in Spanish, um, because this is one of my favorite books of all time. This is the third edition I have of The Hobbit, but I guess the saying goes, you can't own too many of your favorite books. Um, yeah, there's an epic shot of Bilbo Baggins from the movie, and I don't actually mind this movie cover because I actually enjoyed the movies, and I absolutely adored the person who played Bilbo Baggins, so yeah. And then I did a recent Barnes and Noble t Nobles trip um, not too long ago. I rarely go book shopping at Barnes and Nobles, but I had a gift card left over from like all the way from Christmas, and I hadn't spent it yet. So the two books I picked out were "And I Darken" by uh, Kirsten White, and then "Of Fire and Stars" by Audrey Colthurst. I hope I said that right. But um, I don't know much about these books, save that they're both fantasy, young adult fantasy. This one features a female-female romance. I don't know if the main character is bisexual or lesbian, 
but I will be finding that out. And that's pretty much one of the big reasons why I bought this book in the first place was because I wanted to find more LGBTQ plus books that were um, fantasy because I know there's a lot out there that they're contemporary and I'm not a huge fan of contemporary because that genre as just in general it doesn't really interest me as I am an avid reader of fantasy and so I was especially looking out for books that were female female romances um and so I came across this on rec a lot of recommendation lists and so that's why I picked this out and this I know also features um a uh, gay romance um, with two boys but um, yeah it's also fancy it's not with the main character um, unfortunately but it is a major character who is involved in this romance so basically those are the two reasons why I, the reasons why I wanted to buy these books were because of those romances and because they took place in a fantasy world so that's what I was looking for yeah and then the next that actually my mom picked out, but she had in mind that we would both read this book, and that was All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, and this is um, a very popular um, World War II historical fiction um, retelling, or basically it's set, it's set during World War II, and other than that, I don't really know much about this story, but I know that it's been around for a while, and it's really highly acclaimed, and so I'm really excited to get to read this one. And then the last book that I have to show you is Like Water for Chocolate by Laura es Escarel, I think. I mean, I'm really bad at reading cursive, so I think that's what it says. <laughs> I know that's kind of poor to admit, but I am my cursive skills are really at a minimum, and so... I, ho I am hoping that that is what it says, but my dad picked this out for me because he was at a used bookstore, and so he asked, he texted me and asked me if there was any book in mind that I really, really wanted, and I gave him like a short list, like, any of these are fine, thank you so much, and he ended up getting this one, and basically I'm trying to read more books with rep representation of my ethnicity, I am Mexican, and... Um, I don't know much about this book, save that it's, um, centered around women in Mexican families. It's, like, a story about family, and they say it's, like, a soap opera romance, Mexican cookbook, and home remedy handbook all rolled into one. It is fiction, don't be, um, confused, but, I don't know, the cover is beautiful, and... Yeah, representation. I'm super excited to read this, and I'm hoping that I love it. So, those are all the books that I read. Oh, wait, this is not a wrap-up. <laughs> this is a, t uh, um, a haul. <laughs> so, those are all the books that I accumulated this um, past couple months, I would say. And so, I'm really excited to read them, and I hope that... I just love them all, pretty much. I love how my ending is already turning to be really awkward. But yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a very good day. Goodbye.